Black Oak, Arkansas. Black Oak, Arkansas is an American Southern rock band named after the band's hometown of Black Oak, Arkansas. The band reached the height of its fame in the 1970s, with four charting albums released in that decade. Their style is punctuated by multiple guitar players and the raspy voice and on-stage antics of vocalist Jim Dandy Mangrum. History. The Nobody Else. Black Oak, Arkansas, originally named The Nobody Else, was formed in 1963 by some high school pals living in the area around Black Oak, Arkansas. Original members included Ronnie Chicky Hawk Smith vocals, Ricky Lee alternately Risky or Ricochet Reynolds guitar. At some point, the band and Ronnie Chicky Hawk Smith agreed that a mutual friend named James Jim Dandy Mangrum would make a better front man, while Smith agreed that he himself would make a better stage production manager. The band's first PA system was stolen from Monet High School. The group then cleaned out an old galvanized grain bin on the edge of town and began blasting out ear-piercing sounds that echoed their special blend of music that came from rock, gospel, country and blues influences. Members of the group were subsequently charged in absentia with grand larceny and sentenced to 26 years at the Tucker Prison Farm, a sentence that was later suspended. This led to their retreat to the hills of rural north-central Arkansas where they lived off the land and refined their musical style. They also lived in Long Beach, Mississippi, and played at the local Loeb Theater slash Dance Hall and the short-lived venue, The Black Rainbow. Some of their influences during this time were the Beatles and the Bayards. Nobody else moved to Memphis, Tennessee in 1969 and signed a record deal with Stax Records. Their self-titled debut album, Hip Records, Hash His 7003, a subsidiary of Stax, was largely ignored by the public. During this time, the band became interested in psychedelia and Eastern spiritualism, which, combined with their Southern Baptist upbringing, contributed to their sound. Black Oak, Arkansas. After several trips to Los Angeles, California, in 1970, the band was signed by Atco Records, whose parent label, Atlantic Records, once had a partnership with Stax and rechristened Black Oak, Arkansas. Their self-titled debut album, Black Oak, Arkansas, was released in 1971. The record featured enduring BOA classics such as Hot and Nasty, Lord Have Mercy on My Soul, Uncle Lejaya written in pseudo-tribute to Harvey Jett's real-life great-uncle, and When Electricity Came to Arkansas, which was accused by fundamentalist religious groups of containing backward, masked satanic messages possibly from a live performance of the song in which Mangrum utters dog C.A. and not as three times. The band toured extensively, gaining a reputation as a premier live act throughout the early 1970s all across America, and later even in Europe. Keep the Faith followed in 1972, featuring the manic concert staple Fever in My Mind. Drummer Wayne Evans left the band and was replaced by journeyman drummer Tommy Aldridge on BOA Next Release, If an Angel Came to See You, Would You Make Her Feel at Home? which featured another endearing BOA concert favorite, Mutants of the Monster, and expanded on the group's eclectic musical style. In 1973, Black Oak, Arkansas released their fourth LP, Raunch and Roll Live, and took the rather unorthodox tack of including previously unreleased new songs on their first live concert album like Jigalo, Gettin' Kinda Cocky, as well as two more BOA classics, Hot Rod, which features Dandy's sly double entendre lyrics, and Up, which spotlights Aldridge's marathon drum solo, a portion of which he played with his bare hands. The four new songs were originally recorded and intended to be included on the follow-up studio album to If an Angel Came to See You, but when Echo Records realized the band's true strong suit was their concert act, 
the live album resulted. Raunch and Roll Live was reissued in 2007 by Rhino Records as a two-CD set containing both concerts that the original vinyl album was called from. The band's fifth album, High on the Hog, also released in 1973, ended up being the high point of BOA career, peaking at number 52 on the Billboard Albums chart. Ruby Star, future vocalist of Grey Ghost, also toured intermittently with Black Oak during this period, and her raspy voice can be heard on the group's remake of Laverne Baker's 1957 hit Jim Dandy to the Rescue, which reached number 25 on the Billboard Hot 100. Baker's song was recorded at the suggestion of Elvis Presley when he invited BOA to Graceland. The band was riding high on the concert trail as well by this time, headlining large venues like Kansas City's Arrowhead Stadium and Charlotte Motor Speedway and the Royal Albert Hall in London, England. Black Oak, Arkansas also played at the California Jam Festival in Ontario, California on April 6, 1974. The concert attracted over 200,000 fans and BOA appeared alongside Black Sabbath, Eagles, Emerson, Lake and Palmer, Deep Purple, Earth, Wind and Fire, Seals and Crofts, and Rare Earth. Portions of the show were telecast on ABC television in the U.S., exposing the band to a wider audience. The follow-up to High on the Hog, 1974's Street Party featuring Son of a Gun, Hey Yell and Dixie, as well as a cover of the Motown classic Dancing in the Street, may have failed to maintain the momentum, but another 1974 release entitled Early Times, a shelved Stax recording by the Nobody Else now released on the back of their success and under the BOA banner, made up for lost time. Guitarist Harvey Jett left the band after Street Party, and was replaced by Jimmy Soybean Henderson in 1975, and he debuted on the band's final studio album for Atco Records, Ain't Life Grand. This album included a snarly remake of George Harrison's Beatles classic Taxman, as well as new originals like Fancy Nancy, Rebel, Good Stuff, Key and Shame, and Let Life Be Good to You. The band signed a contract with MCA and promptly released X-Rated later in 1975, which marked the beginning of Black Oak, Arkansas's decline. In 1976, they released two fairly nondescript and unsuccessful albums for MCA, Balls of Fire and Ten a Overnight Success, the latter as a five-piece band with the departure of Ricky Reynolds, who was more or less replaced on tour by keyboardist Marius Penksner during this period. Also in 1976, Atco released a final BOA contractual obligation album, the poorly recorded but high-spirited Live. Mutha, recorded on Mother's Day, 1975, in Long Beach, California. This recording saw a reappearance of Ruby Starr, Black Oak, following continued diminishing returns of the band's record sales yet while still remaining a consistent concert draw. The other members of the Black Oak lineup were Greg Redane guitar and keyboards, Jack Holder guitar, Andy Tana's bass, and Joel Williams drums. Black Oak released two albums on the struggling Capricorn Records, Race with the Devil in 1977, and I'd Rather Be Sailing the following year. Neither album sold well. In 1978, guitarist Sean Lane joined the band at age 14 and toured with the band for four years. Post Capricorn Records. In the early 1980s, Dandy temporarily left the band for health reasons, but Reynolds kept the band going with former Zorro bassist Jack Brumby, A.W. Zudner, and Lester John. Bob Simpson took on lead vocals at first, but was later replaced by Randy Ruff for almost three years, until Mangrum's return. In 1984, the band released Ready as Hell. Though the name Black Oak, Arkansas was on the album cover, Jim Dandy appeared above it in larger type, 
almost as if it were a solo effort. Ready as Hell featured a heavier sound with pinch harmonics and keyboards featured throughout. The album was also Ricky Lee Reynolds's first recording with Mangrum since the MCA years. In 1986, The Black Attack is back continued the heavy style of the previous album and featured the particularly adventurous track I Want a Woman with Big Titties. Again, Jim Dandy received top billing on the album cover though BOA the band's initials did appear above the frontman's name. Like its predecessor, The Black Attack is Back made no commercial headway. In 1992, the band released Rebound, this time under the band's aegis, with similar results. Things changed little with 1999's The Wild Bunch, which was released under the name Jim Dandy's Black Oak, Arkansas. James Mangrum has continued recording and touring with a series of different Black Oak lineups up to the present day. Black Oak, Arkansas currently enjoys a loyal fan following. However, the later lineups have yet to duplicate the level of album sales that the original lineup generated in the early mid-1970s. Jim Dandy is credited with inspiring Van Halen, frontman David Lee Roth's image and onstage persona. In addition, in the 1980s, former Maine State Representative Chris Greeley once opened for them as a member of the rock band Toys. Singer Ruby Starr died of cancer on January 14, 1995. Original Black Oak, Arkansas guitarist Stanley Knight, born on February 12, 1949, in Little Rock, Arkansas, died on February 16, 2013, four days after his 64th birthday following a brief battle with cancer. Black Oak era guitarist Jack Holder, born Richard Jackson Holder Jr., on August 26, 1952, died from cancer on January 13. 2015 at the age of 62. Former guitarist Jimmy Henderson, born James David Henderson on May 20, 1954, died on March 5, 2016, at age 61. The Return to Atlantic Records The band released an album for Atlantic Records slash Atco Records on October 15, 2013, titled Back Thar and Over Yonder. The album contained five newly recorded songs and ten previously unreleased 1970s tracks which were produced by Tom Dowd. The new songs featured a lineup of original and current members. Reunited originals Jim Dandy Mangrum, Ricky Lee Risky Reynolds, Pat Dirty Daughtery, and Jimmy Soybean Henderson were joined by current drummer Johnny Ballin, bassist George Hewen, guitarist Buddy Church, and lead guitarist Hal McCormack. The first single off the record, Plugged In and Wired, was released August 26, 2013. The band toured to support the album, Underdog Heroes. On May 24, 2019, Black Oak, Arkansas released Underdog Heroes, their first album consisting of all new recordings in 30 years. The album featured founding members Mangrum and Reynolds. List of classic band members. James L. Mangrum Aka Jim Dandy Mangrum Lead Vocals. Washford 1968, early 1980s, 1983, present. Ricky Lee Risky slash Ricochet Reynolds Rhythm Guitar. 12 String Guitar. Vocals 1965, 1977, 1984, present. Harvey Burley Jet Lead Guitar, Banjo, Piano, Vocals 1965-1974. Pat Dirty Darty Bass Guitar, Vocals 1965-1977-1996-2002. Wayne Squeezebox Evans Drums 1965-1972. Stanley Goober Grin Knight, Lead Guitar, Steel Guitar, Organ, Vocals 1969-1976, deceased, 2013. Tommy Aldridge, drums 1972-1976, later joined Pat Travers' band, also played for Gary Moore, Ozzy Osbourne, and Whitesnake, among others.
current Turing Band members. James L. Mangrum Akajim Dandy Mangrum Lead Vocals, Guitar Washboard 1968, Early 1980s, 1983, Present. Ricky Lee Risky Slash Ricochet Reynolds Rhythm Guitar, 12 String Guitar Keyboards, Backing Vocals 1965, 1977, 1984, Present. Sammy B. Sophine Lilbit Duet Vocals, Backing Vocals, Washboard 2013 Present, Founded Her Own Band. Dark Epiphany 2006 Present Managed by Jim Dandy. David Flexer Lead Guitar 2018 Present. Billy Little Bass Guitar 2018 Present. Johnny Ballin Drums 1988-2018, 2020 Present. Past Members. James L. Mangrum Aka Jim Dandy Mangrum Lead Vocals, Guitar Washboard 1968-1980-1983 Present. Randy Ruff Lead Vocals, Piano, Organ 1980-1982 Ruby Star Duet Vocals, Backing Vocals 1973-1976 Deceased 1995. Sammy B. Sophie Lilbit Duet Vocals, Backing Vocals, Washboard 2013 Present Pat Dirty Darty Bass Guitar, Vocals 1970-1977-1996-2002. Andy Tana's Bass Guitar 1977-1979. Dave Wilson Bass Guitar 1979-1981 Deceased 2013. Kinley Barney Wolf Bass Guitar 1981-1983. George Hewen Bass Guitar 1985-2000-2016 David Wildman Cochran Bass Guitar 2000-2002 Billy Little Bass Guitar 2018-present Ricky Lee Risky Slash Ricochet Reynolds Rhythm Guitar 12 String Guitar Keyboards Backing Vocals 1970-1977-1984-present Jimmy Soybean Henderson Guitar 1975-1979, Deceased 2016. Deke Richards Guitar, Piano 1977-1978. Greg Redane Guitar, Keyboards, Vocals 1977-1979. Jack Holder Guitar 1977-1979, Deceased 2015. Sean Lane Guitar 1978-1982 Deceased 2003 Gavin Frisbee Guitar 1978-1980 Dave Amato Guitar 1980 Mick Chelsvig Guitar 1980-1981 Tony Ballard Guitar 1981-1982 Robert Gregory Guitar 1985 Angelo Earl Guitar Late 1980s Buddy Church Guitar 1989-1994, 2013-2016, Deceased 2016. Harvey Burley Jet Lead Guitar, Banjo, Piano, Vocals 1970-1974. Stanley Goober Grin Knight, Lead Guitar, Steel Guitar, Organ, Vocals 1970-1976, Deceased 2013. Pal McCormack Lead Guitar 2003-2016 Kevin Reese Lead Guitar Early 1980s John Roth Lead Guitar July 1986 October 1987 1991 Arthur Pearson Lead Guitar Rhythm Guitar 1989 Present Slash On Call Kevin Williams Lead Guitar Early 1990s Danny Lev Lead Guitar 199. Rocky Athas Lead Guitar 1996-2001. Terry Slideman Powers Lead Guitar 2000-2004. David Flexer Lead Guitar 2018-present. Wayne Squeezebox Evans Drums 1970-1972. Gary G.T. Taylor Drums 1970-1972. Tommy Aldridge Drums 1972-1976 Bobby T. Torlo Drums 1977 Abel Jima Knight Drums 1977-1982 
Joel Williams Drums 1977-1978 Randy I. Mears Drums 1978-1979 Les John Drums 1979-1980 Chris Craig Drums 1979-1982 Daryl Miller Drums 1970s Cozy Johnson Drums Early 1980s Paul Simmons Drums 1985-1986 Victor Lukenbaugh Drums 1989-2016, 2018-2020. Johnny Monk Kerville Roman III Drums 1990-1996. Johnny Ballin Drums 1988-2018, 2020-present Marius Penksner Keyboards 1975-1977. David Dave Mayo Piano, Bass Guitar 1976. Gary D. Rollins Keyboards 1978 Session Members Kenny Rogers Guitar Alex Among Guitar Steve the Axe Nunnenmacher Lead Guitar Rhythm Guitar Ready as Hell Later Formed Lillian Axe as Steve Blaze William Lemuel Bass Guitar Ready as Hell John J. R. Slash Thunderpaws Wells Drums Ready as Hell Billy Bat Keyboards Violin Ready as Hell Michael Gnarly Dude Martin Lead Guitar The Black Attack is Back Deceased. If the Beast Bingham Second Lead Guitar Ready as Hell, The Black Attack is Back. Mike Farris Bass Guitar The Black Attack is Back. Jerry A. Williams Drums Ready as Hell, The Black Attack is Back. Garrett Bearden Drums 1980s. Mickey Tricky Smith Drums Road Tech. Mark A. R. Friend. Timeline. Discography. Albums. The Nobody Else. The Nobody Else Hip Records Hash His 7003, a subsidiary of Stax Records, October 1969. Reissued 2008 on Purple Pyramid slash Cleopatra Records. Soldiers of Pure Peace Arf. Arf. Music, November 13, 2012. Demo material originally recorded in 1967. Black Oak, Arkansas. Black Oak, Arkansas, Atco Records, March 1971, U.S. No. 127, RIAA Gold. Keep the Faith, Atco, January 1972, U.S. No. 103. If an angel came to see you, would you make her feel at home? Atco. June 1972, U.S. No. 93. Launch and Roll Live at Co. February 1973. Recorded December 1 and 2, 1972, U.S. No. 90, RIAA Gold. High on the Hog at Co. September 1973, U.S. No. 52, RIAA Gold. Early Times Stax Records, March 1974. Mo material originally recorded in 1968-1969 as The Nobody Else. Street Party at Co., July 1974, U.S. No. 56. Ain't Life Grand at Co., April 1975, U.S. No. 145. X-Rated MCA Records, September 1975, U.S. No. 99. Live. Mutha Atco, January 1976, recorded May 11, 1975, U.S. No. 194. Balls of Fire MCA, May 1976, U.S. No. 173. 10 Overnight Success MCA, October 1976. Rebound Gold Wax Records, hash GW5003-1991. King Biscuit Flower Hour presents Black Oak, Arkansas King Biscuit Flower Hour Records, slash BMG, March 10, 1998. Recorded November 21, 1976. Live on the King Biscuit Flower Hour, King Biscuit Entertainment, slash Pinnacle, September 27, 1999. Reissue of the KBFH material. All 12 songs. Live EMI Capital Special Markets, a subsidiary of Capital EMI Records, May 4, 2000. 
another reissue of the KBFH material minus two songs. Keep the Faith live concert performance to Sky Communications 2001, yet another reissue of the KBFH material. All 12 songs. Live at Royal Albert Hall Esmore Entertainment, November 25, 2005, recorded 1975. The Complete Raunch and Roll Live Rhino Handmade Records, 2007 2CD. Black Oak, Arkansas. Nobody Else 69 Purple Pyramid Slash Cleopatra Records, 2008, reissue of Hip Records, Hash His 7003. Back Thar and Over Yonder Atlantic Slash Atco Records, October 15, 2013, includes five new songs with ten previously unreleased studio outtakes from 1972-1973-1974. Underdog Heroes Purple Pyramid Slash Cleopatra Records, May 24, 2019 Note all of BOA original ATCO albums have been reissued on CD by Wounded Bird Records in 2000-2001, except High on the Hog. Jim Dandy without BOA. Flash Fearless vs. The Zorb Women, Parts 5 and 6 Chrysalis Records, 1975 Note, Jim Dandy sings two songs. Country Cooking and Blast Off on this various artists slash original studio, Cast comic book hero slash rock opera album. Black Oak. Race with the Devil Capricorn Records, November 1977. I'd Rather Be Sailing Capricorn, June 1978. Jim Dandy's Black Oak, Arkansas. Ready as Hell Hacienda Records, 1984. The Black Attack is Back, Heavy Metal America Records, 1986. The Wild Bunch Deadline Slash Cleopatra Records, November 2, 1999. Top Musicians Play ZZ Top Sleeping Giant Records, 2010 Note, Jim Dandy's BOA Do Just One Song. Lag Range on this various artists' tribute album. Compilations. Hot and Nasty Atlantic Recording Issued by WEA Records Limited, 1974 Single LP 12 Tracks. The Best of Black Oak, Arkansas at Co., April 1977. Hot and Nasty. The Best of Black Oak, Arkansas Rhino Records, 1992. Hot and Nasty and Other Hits Flashback Slash Rhino Records, 1997. The Definitive Rock Collection Atlantic Slash Rhino Records, October 17, 2006 to CD. Charted Singles. Jim Dandy to the Rescue Echo, December 1973, from the High on the Hog album U.S. No. 25. Strong Enough to be Gentle MCA, January 1976, from the X-rated album U.S. No. 89. Books. An Analysis of the Southern Rock and Roll Band Black Oak, Arkansas by Cecil Kirk Hudson, 1996. Publisher, The Mellon, Edwin Press, ISBN 773,408,452. Evil Thingies by Ricky Lee Reynolds of Black Oak, Arkansas, 2016. Publisher, Cowboy Buddha Publishing. LLC ISBN 985,607,661.